Welcome to the penultimate day of the Student Yachting World Cup. As expected, the strong wind blew hard from early on, with big waves and stormy clouds covering La Rochelle. So a challenging day for both teams and boats that would require extra caution to get through without mishap. When all 12 teams finally reached the race area, they were faced with over 20 knots of breeze with gusts up to 28. This was a real test for some of the crews, and a few decided to retire, some due to gear failure. But for those who could handle the big conditions, it was time to stretch their legs and enjoy the La Rochelle roller coaster ride, surfing down the waves and generally blasting along. Southampton University scored two more bullets today, matching their skill in the lighter breeze during the first four days with solid heavy air technique. This crew under Annabelle Vose has rocked the 34th Student World Yachting Cup because after eight wins in 14 races, they are the undisputed champions with a day to spare. That's a really impressive result. Congratulations to Annabelle and her crew. amazing to be the winners of the 2014 Cywalk. We're really happy and especially enabling us to do it a day early. We've put in some really good races and worked really hard and to do it with three races to spare is just a fantastic feeling. Only one point now separates second-placed Italy and third-placed Ireland, so the final day tomorrow looks like a pure duel between these two teams for silver or bronze podium glory. Will they match race each other? That's probably the debate going on in the bars and cafes of La Rochelle during the evening. The Italians only need to cover the Irish, while the Irish will probably want to sail in some of their own clear air. We'll follow that story in our final report tomorrow, with details of all the runners-up. More big wins are forecast. Do come back to us for the grand finale. <laughs>